Sunday's Colts home opener is a spread out sellout. The tickets are gone, but most of the 68,000 seats will sit empty. We're looking forward to an exciting game. Obviously, we wish there were more fans, but for the 2,500 fans that come here, they're going to have a really good experience. While the Colts battle the Vikings on the field, Lucas Oil Stadium officials battle the spread of the coronavirus. The name of the game is social distancing, practicing hard for a clean game. It's a really great opportunity for us to show that we can do big events safely. 2500 is a great place to start. It's going to start when people walk in the door. And I think what you'll see here is that our team has been working together really hard to make sure that people feel safe, are safe, and that the risk for this virus is as low as we could make it. Pandemic safety measures include assigned entrances and exits, COVID-19 verbal screenings and temperature checks, mask required except when eating or drinking, pod seating among ticket groups, and no tailgating around the stadium. All seating will be in the 100 and 200 levels of the lower bowl. Seats close to the field and around tunnels will be tarped off to avoid contact between players and fans. The idea is to keep everyone spread out, even in the line at the concession stand. And by the way, your money is no good here. Cash will not be accepted. Credit cards and mobile pay only for food and drinks in closed containers and individual servings. It's going to be an education for fans uh, to kind of get used to, but in an effort to, uh, you know, eliminate contact, that, that, that's definitely an advantage in our favor for Sunday. The Colts already plan to increase crowds for the rest of the season if fans keep right and avoid face mask penalties. Now, tickets for the Colts game against the Jets on the 27th will go on sale tomorrow morning at 10. Prices start at $46.